Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 to show you a fun new project. Whew! One of these days, I'll figure out how to shorten that. It is a mouthful to try to do all in one breath. But good evening. Hopefully, you guys had a good day. I know I might look a little glossy or a little swollen. Um, I am okay. I had a face treatment today, so I am probably feel as bad as I look. But you know what? I am still here. I tried to put on a tiny bit of lipstick to kind of offset it a little bit. I don't know if it worked, but we are still going to go with it and do the live. Cassie called me right before I went live, and she's like, you're still going to do it looking like that? I'm like, yeah, it's okay because... It's me and I'm a real person. So let's do a live. So today I didn't get a lot of crafting done. I actually didn't get any crafting done. So I got thinking, what should I do when your day is just completely filled and you don't have a lot of time to do or prep anything? And it's something I have never done on a live before. So I'm actually kind of excited to do it. I have not opened the box. I don't, I do know what the box looks like. I do know what the projects look like, but I have not opened the box. So we are going to put one of our kits together live and not even prepped or just, they are prepped, they are designed, but I have not looked at it to make sure I like the prepping and how it goes together. Sometimes I like to alter them and do something different, but we're not gonna do that. That is what these kits are made for. You put them together when you don't have a whole lot of time or space. So what a better way to do it than tonight. So let's point you over because there is lots to show you guys. I'm going to give my um, Facebook a couple minutes before I make sure I'm live. I think I am because I do see people popping on. So say hi if you're here. Just because I want to show you how to get to the kit collections using your devices. But before I do all of that, I wanted to show you what I did today. So when you get your dies in the mail, they come with these little plastic sheets over the packaging. So I usually just throw these away. And as I was throwing them away, I found that I had so many little scraps that were too big to fit into the case. Usually if I have scraps, I'll just put them inside here or inside of the stamp case, but there is way too much to fit into the stamp case and they were just sitting on my desk. So I'm like, what? I don't wanna throw them away because I might need them. So what should I do with them? So I went dumpster diving just in my trash can in my craft room. And I pulled all these out that I threw away and they fit perfectly and it seals so you don't have to worry about them falling out. So I wanted to show you guys that this is a great tip to keep these bags that come in your dye kits. I don't know what they're called. So that's what I did today. I did that. And I finished, actually I finished this a couple days ago. Um, I finished all of the binding on the catalogs. This is just a couple of the extras that I have left over. I did a bunch of them. Everybody's cards are sitting on the bags ready to go into the envelope. So hopefully I can get them out tomorrow or Friday at the very latest. Today's Tuesday, yeah, so tomorrow, I'll try to get them out tomorrow, but Thursday or Friday at the very latest. I know I did say it would be before the 29th, but I think I will definitely get them out before that. So if you haven't RSVP'd to have your catalogs with the spiral binding on it, you can definitely send me a text or go back through your emails and register that way. So those are done. And now let's bring in my iPad so you guys can see um, when you log on to the Stampin' Up! website. So this is on my iPad, so it is a little bit bigger and everything on your computer, but this works perfectly. So you're going to see at the top screen where things are rotating. So you have your January through April mini catalog. You have your last chance products. You have your kit collection. If you tap on that kit collection, it is going to auto-populate all of our kits. 
So the Panda and Friends, I know I've showed you guys that one. It's currently unavailable, but it is so fun. There are so many kits in here, and some of them don't even require any stamping. Like this Kaleidoscope, it is absolutely phenomenal. The Wreath, the Blooms of Wreath kit, I've done this for different holidays. So you can take off the flowers and do different holidays with it. So I just wanted to show you how to get to the kit collection. And I am actually doing something kind of special and fun, thanks to my friend Laura who suggested it. So anybody that orders any of the kits with using the link that I posted in the Facebook Live before we went live, um, I am going to enter you guys into a drawing and I will announce it on next Tuesday's Live. So it'll run for a full week. And if you order any of the kits, I will put you in a drawing to get another kit for free. So it is definitely a win-win. So I'm just flipping my iPad up to make sure we are live. So just give me three seconds to switch over and we are almost there. I will just try to keep talking. There we go. Okay, so we are good to go. I wanted to bring in a couple of the kits. We're not going to do these ones. I have a, another one that we're going to do, but this is the Robot Buddies. This one is the Panda Friends that I just said was currently unavailable, but I do have one here that is unopened, so it will definitely be going in the drawing for next Tuesday. And I won't be mailing them in the box. I will take them out of the box and put them in an envelope, a padded envelope. It's just a little bit less in shipping, um, but I will mail these to you for free with anybody that orders any kits for the next week. Good evening, Jessica. Good evening, Jane. Welcome. Okay, so this is the kit we are going to be doing today. It's the Birthday Sparkle Kit. I did look online to see what ink coordinated with it, and it is the Early Espresso. So I brought in my large um, Early Espresso pad, just because sometimes I like to have a big pad to work with versus the ones that come with the kits. But I love that they include this, um, the ink in the kits in case you don't have it on hand. So I love that it is included, but if you have the larger one, you can definitely use it. So here is your early espresso ink spots. Here is your stamp set, happy cake day, it's your birthday, yay, and then some balloons and confetti. Let's pull out the kits. And in the kit comes your block. So I didn't even bring any of my blocks over here because I knew this one came with one. Good evening, Linda, welcome. So I'm gonna open it up, get rid of all of the packaging. You can keep the cardboard. I do use all my cardboard pieces. And let's see what is in here. We might not get all of these cards put together, but we'll see what we can do. So there's that. It's a little upside down, I think, but that's okay. So we have our pre-cut and scored card bases. So there's six of them. Let's flip them around. And then we have six envelopes. And then you get your dimensionals, you get your block, you get your twine, and some toothpicks. So if you're just like me, and you just got done eating dinner, you might need those. Just kidding, they're not really toothpicks. Okay, and you get colored directions. So you can flip the pages, um, it's a trifold, so you can flip it over to create the projects. I personally just look at the pictures to determine how the card is made. But you can do it however, which way you want. Okay, let's start with these guys. So it looks like we're going to need the polka dots, the card bases, 
we're going to need three of the balloons. So we're going to pop these guys out. And it looks like, oh, here it is. So all of your little stars and all your extra pieces are in here. So I'm going to have to wait to pull these off because I think they're sticky. They are sticky on the other side. Okay, so let's just start putting this together. I forgot we needed these three too. So we need six of these guys. Let's grab our stamp. Usually... I should have grabbed that. Let me run in and grab my Versamark. I like to use Versamark with any photopolymer before I use the colored image or the color stamp. I don't know what it does, but I feel like it helps make it a solid image. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a reason behind it. I personally don't know what it is but it's okay. Let's get these out of the way. I'm actually going to flip that over and use the back side as my backing in case I go over the edges. So there's one. You only need to stamp it in the Versamark one time. You don't want to keep stamping it. The one time seems to work perfect and you're going to get a nice solid image. So we're gonna do three of these. Let me bring in the picture so you guys can kind of see as I am going. I know there's lots of pieces to try to fit in my camera. So let's grab the next balloon. I'm gonna stamp it in Versamark first. And then we're going to do the stripes. Oh, this is super cute. It's a little wonky on the eyes, but it is definitely cute. And while I'm stamping this, I'm very excited. My light just arrived from my craft room. So Bo said he will put it up tomorrow. So hopefully we won't have any more of these lights showing on the grid paper or the mats. Cross your fingers. Okay, let's do It's Your Birthday. And I think that's the right size balloon. Let me just triple check. There aren't any other balloons besides these three and they're the same size. So we should be good. Stamp and Versamark first. It's your birthday. It's hard to see the white on white to make sure it is even. There we go. And there was only two that I popped out. So let me pop out the third. There we go. So let's move all this out of the way just so I don't stick my arm in it. And looks like we need to do one more stamping. So I don't know if it works better at not knowing what the kit looks like or how to put it together before you do a live, but I think it's working. We're just going with the pictures. So we're gonna stamp a one in the center. We're gonna stamp two off to the side. And I'm just guessing at the width. I'm not really doing anything major. So I would assume all of those are popped up, but let's, yep, they are popped up. See, I didn't even have to look at the directions. So let's flip these over, add some dimensionals. You do get them in your kit. 
it says just to add one. So we are going to follow the directions and just add one to the crumb cake balloons and two to the white balloons. I said I usually don't follow the directions, but I totally am on this one. Peel the backing off. And I feel like the um, kit dimensionals are a little bit thicker than the ones we get from Stampin' Up. Okay, so let's do the polka dots. Of course, I grabbed all the polka dots. <laughs> Let's do a straight. We're going to do this one in the center. I'm going to offset it up just a smidgen. Grab our ribbon. And I'm just going to take my thumb and scratch it across until I can pull that off. And it says just to tie a single bow. So this is a super cute kit. I've had it for a while and I should have put it together, but I haven't. So I'm so glad we get to do it together. Grab your paper snips, trim it off. It does come with the mini dimensionals. Oh, that's not my poker tool. So I'm just gonna slide underneath put the dimensional on and then you can peel it off with your fingernail or use your take your pick tool. There's that and then let's grab this little guy. Looks like a piece got stuck in there, got it. There we go. Now let's put this on our card base. And the directions say it has dimensionals on it as well. So this one is getting lots of dimensionals. And it says to put one in each corner, but you know me, we don't like anything to sag, so I'm putting one in the center as well. I don't think the kit police are going to come and get me. There we go. You can fold your card base and there is your first card. Look how easy that was to put together. So fun too. Okay, even though I took the backing off those, let's scooch them over to the side, even though I have a little bit of a hot mess over here. But that's the story of my life. And let's do one of the other cards. And then if we still have time, we can go back and do more. So let's start with this guy. So we are just using one of these pieces. Let me pull it up so you guys can see it. We're using the twine and the little banners. And then we're gonna use some of these gold things for the top. Okay, so let's stamp first. We're gonna stamp the happy birthday. There we go, I'm gonna dab it in the Versamark first. I just have it sitting beside me so I don't accidentally get ink anywhere. Happy cake day. Perfect. I think it says to use the mini glue dots to attach this, but we're gonna use Tombow because it's right here beside me. This is gonna get glued into the center. If I can do it and not shake. <laughs> there we go, let's flip it over, wipe your fingers off because I got glue everywhere. Grab dimensionals. And it doesn't say 
Oh, it does just say two dimensionals, but we're doing three. Again, they give you a full sheet and you can use the edges. You're definitely not going to run out. I can assure you of that. Let's do another bow. And I think it does tell you to cut six inches for the bow, but I always just tied my bows off of the spool because I feel like there's a lot less waste when you tie it off of the spool. So you can definitely cut the six inches or tie it on the spool. Your choice. There's that. And it looks like it's gonna go here in the corner. So I'm just gonna put that right underneath the mini glue dots. And this is going to go, good thing I looked at the directions. I'm missing a piece, here we go. I'm missing this guy. Flip it over. Put dimensionals. And I'm going to put some in the center also. Hopefully this isn't too thick to go into the mail. My upline says that you can do two layers of dimensionals. I've never done two layers of dimensionals, so I'm a little scared. Put that in the center. Now this can go on. This is gonna go right here. And then, we can find the little candle pieces and put them on. There's that. Do another. It is a super cute kit, Jessica. Yeah, I definitely like it. A little bit different, but a little bit fun. And it looks like you were supposed to take these little doodads. <laughs> Let's see if I can squeeze them on there without making a hot mess. We're supposed to put these on in the corners. So I think I can finagle these in here. There we go. So there is card number two. Let me fold this. So fun and so cute. And then the last one is a tag, I believe. So we might not be able to put that one together, but for tomorrow, I will finish putting this kit together and I will post it on, on Facebook for you. But it is definitely fun to do kits and I really need to start doing more of them because they are super fun. I would definitely put a basic white piece on the inside of this, even though it is a light crumb cake-ish. Um, I would still like to have a little bit something else to write on the inside, kind of like that one. So there you go. And this is called Birthday Sparkle Kit, and it definitely does sparkle. Okay, so you get two tags. So you get two different kind of tags and three of each of these cards. So I am super excited to put these together tomorrow. I will definitely finish them. I just don't want to spend all evening out here with you guys. I'm sure you want to spend some time with your lovely families. So anyway, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Thursday for another live. And I promise I won't be so red and shiny. Anyway, have a great evening. Don't forget about the little special that I have going on. If anybody orders a kit from now until next Tuesday, Using the link that I posted, I will be mailing, uh, I'll do drawings and I'll be mailing you some extra kits. Have a great evening and we will chat with you soon. Bye-bye.